In B2B, the customer stickiness is much more as compared to B2C, thus implying higher repurchase or renewal rates. Changing vendors may require reskilling of employees, negotiation of payment terms, etc. Consequently, the lifetime dollar value of a B2B client would be much higher than a simple net profit to expense ratio. The metric to measure ROI in B2B content marketing should be much broader and with a longer time horizon. So let's discuss a few performance indicators of a great content marketing strategy. Number one, bounce rate. If visitors are leaving your site very quickly, it implies they did not find the information that they were looking for. A high bounce rate is a sure sign of either boring content or incorrect optimization. Lower bounce rates, higher time duration spent on the site are signals of engaging content. Number two, wow content and social media listening. In an era of information overload, if visitors are taking the trouble of sharing your content on social media, it means they love your work. It may not give direct revenue, but you're headed in the right direction. Sentiment analysis of what people are writing about you on social media channels also gives a hint. Number three, one size does not fit all. Joe writes on Forbes that it is far more sensible to upload a video directly on Facebook instead of embedding a YouTube link. LinkedIn may love images and case studies. Similarly, boosting some key posts through paid campaigns brings in fresh followers. Organic posts may reach only about 1% of the network at any given point in time. Driving 10,000 page likes may look appealing but is not sustainable. Next, milk the cash cow. If some content is attracting good traffic and generating more leads, recycle it. Dig deeper, write more closely knitted articles and build an ecosystem around it. That could be a precursor for your next big bull run. Next, practice what you preach. Demonstrate real life examples through case studies with success stories to build your credibility. Show that it works because customers do not trust empty ranting. Return on investment in content marketing is synonymous to return on involvement. A well-fortified content marketing strategy will involve great content, a different perspective, and just not another me too blog. There should be a clear call for action, clear objectives, and ultimately it should reach the relevant target audience. Generating leads and optimizing inorganic campaigns are also one of the key objectives of content marketing.